Okay, so we've looked at how to move around in the 3D viewport, and we've looked at how to move and transform our objects. But the real action doesn't happen here in object mode, which is what we're in right now. You can see in the top left, we're in object mode. Most of the action for what we'll be doing is gonna happen in edit mode. So I can come up here to the mode selection and go to edit mode, or because we're in Blender, we love hotkeys, we can also press the tab button to go back and forth between object mode and edit mode. Now you'll notice here that I popped into edit mode and all of a sudden our shape looks a little bit different. We can start to see the vertices and the edges of our shape. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see those a little bit better. So here in edit mode is where we're going to be moving vertices, edges, and faces around. And we'll talk about how to select those in just a bit. You'll also notice on the left, we've got our uh, gizmos for the move, rotate, and scale, plus a few other gizmos, some of which we'll get to. Right now I'm in vertex selection mode. You can see that up here, this button right here is the vertex select. The one next to it, if I click on that, the vertices disappear. This is edge select, so I can select an edge, or go to the next one, and I'm now in face select, and we can select a face of our shape. And again, being Blender, we have hotkeys. If you press one on the top of your keyboard, not on the number pad, you'll go to vertex select. If you press two, you'll go to edge select. If you go to three, you'll go back to face select. Now, if you've emulated a number pad because you're using a laptop or have a keyboard without a number pad, you're not gonna have these shortcuts available to you. Now let's go back to vertex select. and I'm gonna select a single vertex. Now I can use the same transformations of move, scale, and rotate that we used on an entire object. Now with a vertice, it doesn't make any sense necessarily to rotate it or to scale it, but if I press G, I can now move it around and I can change my geometry. If I want to select multiple vertices, I can hold shift and I get additive selection. If I get one that I don't like, I can click on it and it'll deselect it. Now that I have multiple vertices selected, if I press G, they're all going to move together as a single unit. Now, if I go to edge select, I can select an edge. If I press G, I can move it around. And that's the same as if I'd selected the two vertices on either end of the edge. Now that I have an edge selected, I can use the scale transform and I can scale that around. I can also press R to rotate and I can now rotate that edge. Likewise, I can go into face select, grab a face, move it around. I can scale a face or we can rotate a face. So there you go. We get into edit mode by pressing tab. Once we're in there, we can move, rotate, and scale our edges, our vertices, and our faces. In the next video, we'll take a look at the extrude tool and we'll be able to add some geometry to our object and not just be uh, confined to this simple shape.